The thing that made me take music serious was when I went through like a dark path in like 2018, 2019, around that time, and I just gave up music. And everybody kept on asking me like, when you gonna drop new new uh, songs? Like, when you gonna go back to the studio? And I was just like, I'm not doing this shit no more. Like, no, like this shit is too much. This shit coming too much. Fuck that. Like, and being as though like I wasn't very educated in the in the game, and I didn't have money for like lawyers and all that, and my family ain't know. I'm like. I don't want to be used and abused in this fucking game. I don't want to do it. But I so happened to like go back in the studio and I made Do I Guess Nigga. That shit, like I teased it on Facebook. And I think like within like the first couple of hours, she was at like 100K views. And I'm like, y'all been missing a bad bitch like me, huh? So I started dropping music and a producer's name. And that literally helped me like get back into the game. And then like, I like, the more songs that I drop, the hotter I would get. Like, and I was to the point to where I wasn't even doing covers no more. Like, like I was really creating my own songs, helping co-produce beats for myself. And I'm just like, oh yeah, bitch, I'm really a rapper, huh? And but I was still like working nine to five. Like my last job was like Amazon. Like I was driving them trucks. Hated it. I fucking hated it. I don't care. I, I hated it. Um, whenever they would piss me off at that job. Boy, I would like drive that damn big ass Amazon truck like a Mario Kart. Like I would be out of there. Like they had me fucked up. Like I was so mad. And um, <laughs> so I had this song called Outside and it was like trending hard as hell. And that's when the first label reached out and I'm like, what type of scamming ass shit is this? Second label reached out. I'm like, what's going on? Third label reached out. Fourth, 13 label deals later, I'm like, oh, I'm really finna be a rapper. And at this point, like I was living in the hood, like I was living in a nitty gritty to where people was dying either a block over from my house, the same block I, that, that, that <laughs> I was living on, like 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 it was so fucked up over there. And I ain't, I ain't really see too much of a way out, but I knew that I was gonna get out, didn't know how, but I knew I was. And from my city, like, if you have something big going on, Oh, and, and I was doing her out of my house. So they knew where I lived there, all that shit. And if you have something going on, they gonna want it. No matter what, they are gonna want it. So we kept it under wraps. So I was still living living regular, like like I was going out to the clubs. Of course I quit that fucking job because they had me fucked up. Like the last day, I, no. Um, and I think like the last night that I, that I was living regular, somebody said on the mic like, yeah, shout out to Big Boss Bitch. She got 13 labor deals on the table. Who the fuck told you that? Hold the fuck up. Like, now now everybody look around club shit. I'm looking around trying to figure out who, who the fuck is that too? Because what? Like, and I'm just like, okay, like, I really got to get the fuck. So the label that I wind up going with and stuff, like, I'm like, yo, like, y'all want me to stop doing her and living regular, but I need to stop doing her and living regular check. Like, I still have to pay my bills till my name is on this dotted line. And they was like, okay, how much you want? I said a price, they doubled it. I said, oh, okay, baby, I quit, fuck y'all. Huh, huh, you know, and after that, I'm like, I'm a real dear rapper. You know, I moved, I moved into my first luxury condo, never had a luxury fuck thing in my life. I moved there. I was excited, paid the bills up for a full year to only fucking move out like maybe nine months within my lease to Atlanta because I felt like that I, that I outgrew what my city had to offer me at that moment, you know? And I knew that if I wanted to be any bigger, I had to move up out of my city. So, moved to Atlanta, uh, got me a great team here, and literally, like, I've been hitting the ground running. Like, shout out my team, for sure. Um, the change in my career that came from outside was when Chloe Bailey, so somebody made a fan video of Chloe Bailey and she posted it to her story and, and then like I think her caption was like, but this song though, LOL, and it was my outside song playing. And at that time, like like she was like popping heavy because like I think that she like kinda just just like broke into the industry, like like big, you know? And people people was like going crazy about it. I'm like, oh my god, shout out to Chloe Bailey. And I and still to this day, I owe her some flowers. So if you see this and tell me where I can send you some flowers. Still love. Um, literally, people started using it for like, um, for like hair videos, cooking videos, anime videos, um, sim video. Like every everything was was outside, and that is what 
had them labels knocking at my door because they knew a bad bitch was coming, you know? And, like, at first, I did not expect it to be that big. But I knew that I had, like, one go, and that was to get signed. Because I feel like once I got signed, I was going to be Beyonce, baby. I was done. You know, I was out of here. But something that I, that I didn't know is, like, when you get signed by a label, like, this is your time to actually start over. Like, and now you really, really have to show the world who you are and why they should love you, why they should buy your brand, why they should, should stream your music, and why you belong in these rooms, you know? And I didn't know anything like that. When I got signed to, Re to Republic Records, I didn't have any goals after that. Like, like I was kind of at like a standstill with my life. Cause I'm like, what's next? Like, you know, cause once I realized that I, that I wasn't Beyonce, I'm like, goddamn, like, what am I supposed to do now? You know, like I was like, I was, I was really lost for words. I was like, damn, some bad though ass shit. Like I ain't know I wasn't gonna be Beyonce, you know? I didn't know, but then something clicked. Like, oh girl, you do what you been doing. You put out music, you create content. Like you be big boss vet because you're supposed to be her. Like you belong in these rooms. And I didn't really have the proper team at that moment to like push me and do and to like put me in the rooms that I belong in. So I moved to Atlanta. And that's where I met Snake, Andrea, Erica, Ace, Aya, Aisha, like like I can keep going on. And they literally helped me in ways that I ain't know that I needed help. Like like they they put me on PR runs, like like they they put me on club tours. I'm just I'm and I'm like, goddamn, like this is possible. Like I'm really supposed to be her. And when I first moved there, like, I used to dress so country. Like, St. Louis has a different way of dressing. Like, we real country. So, in certain rooms, like, that, that shit don't fly. You know, shout out my people at Dre because, you know, she be she be dressing me. Because sometimes, you know, I be re reverting back to my old, you know, two-piece uh, uh, picnic table cloth sets, okay? And, you know, she has elevated my look, my style, you know? Shout out to Naya Ashley, you know, cause she's helped me in ways that I ain't even know that I could be helped, you know? Like, whenever she would see me pictures of just clothes, I'd be like, girl, what the fuck is this shit? Like, I, I don't see what y'all see. Like, and i will put it on and be like, oh my bad, y'all. I, I am a bad bitch here, I'm sorry. You know, I should've believed y'all, I'm sorry, you know? But they, they have like an amazing mind because how do you even see these pieces going together, baby? I. I would've put on an all black set and, and called it a day. I'm a two piece set queen. Guess why my merch, two piece, baby. Easy, easy breezy, beautiful. Cover girl. No, no, I was playing, but no, seriously, like, easy. What's up, y'all? It's your favorite cousin, Big Boss Vic, and I am exiting out of her of 24 7 HH. Pretty.